Hello guys, this is Abhijit Thir. Uh, now our topic is PDCP protocol. So what is PDCP? We have to understand here. So in this diagram, if you see, uh, PDCP uh, lies between above the RLC protocol and below the STAP protocol and the RLC protocol. So we know that uh, we have discussed earlier STAP, what is STAP protocol, surface data adaptation protocol. And we have discussed about the overview of the protocol courses also in the YouTube channel. So what are the main function of the PDCP? So we have to understand. So if you see, uh, the main function of PDCP is that header compression and decompression. So why we need header compression and decompression? So we know that we have different kind of the 5QI in the 5G. Like we have the 5QI1, 5QI9 and we have the different kind of services in the 5k1 and the 5k9 so when i'm talking about the 5k1 services it's uh, considered as a vnr services and vnr services doesn't require that much uh, data packet so uh, those data packet we have some header file also so with the help of header compression pdcp significantly reduce the size of ip header packet either it's ipv4 or either ipv6 and this optimization is crucial for conserving the previous or precious re radio bandwidth and improve the data throughput. Second uh, activity here uh, the PDCP is doing that is important that is also called ciphering and the integrity purpose. So we know that PDCP encrypt user data to safeguard it from the unauthorized access over the air interface it also decrypt the received data so this ensure that data confidently and provided to the users so when the base station try to transmit the data to the device so they apply ciphering for the user plane and the control plane here so ciphering is very important in simple term we can say that ciphering is like your uh, you encrypt the file Okay, so that only the person who will receive the file he can decrypt the file and read the file second thing is that in the pdcp we are applying integrity protection so integrity protection is very important pdcp add an integrity check to the data packet it means this allow the receiver to verify whether the data has been tampered within the air interface session or not so this is important it means uh, in integrity they are providing one code that is called maca medium access authentication code and when they transmit the other side they have to keep x maca so this maca medium authentication code integrity x maca the the number of bits they are transmitting or the code they have like it's like otp when you are uh, doing any payment services same thing here second thing is that uh, pdcp also follow the user data transfer so pdcp is responsible for reliable and efficiently transmitting uh, the user data packet ip over the radio interface also pdcp handle the rrc part so that's why if you see here uh, pdcp have a connection to rrc to the pdcp and sdap to the pdcp for the user plane and this side this is for the control plane so when i'm talking about uh one more important thing pdcp maintenance of sequence number it means pdcp assign sequence number to the data packet this help the receiver reassemble packet in correct order and detect the missing packet so what is the important thing so if you see the previous technology like nr and the lt so in lt pdcp and nr pdcp we have some difference actually uh the difference is that uh, now in the nr pdcp we have larger sequence number so nr pdcp support larger sequence number accommodate increased data rate and longer packet sequence in the 5g network second thing is that in P in our pdcp we are providing integrity protection for the drb also it means user plane so in nr integrity protection can optionally be applied to the drb in addition of srb which we are protected in the lt and one more important uh, we know that we have a endc scenario 
so in nr we support split architecture so nrpdcp is designed to work in 5g split architecture where the base station can be divided into centralized unit and distributed unit why pdcp is important in the 5g guys so pdcp play a pivot role in enabling and demanding the performance requirement of the 5g nr by optimizing the header file protecting the data ensure the reliable delivery contribute here like a higher throughput it means it will increase your data is transfer speed rate lower latency faster transmission for the critical real time application and network safeguard for the security purpose so overall pdcp concept will help them also pdcp help you to duplicate elimination so you know that uh, in rlc layer we have a retransmission mechanism okay so whenever the packet receive uh, at pdcp duplicate packet may be received at the pdcp layer so pdcp is responsible for eliminating any this duplicate packet to ensure that upper layer receive each packet only once okay and we know uh, SDAP integration. So in 5G, new layer uh, we added that is called SDAP protocol. And uh, now this SDAP protocol has been introduced above the PDCP for the cost flow management in the user plane. So PDCP interact with the SDAP to ensure that the cost requirement are met for the different services. So thank you so much. Uh, now in the next webinar uh, we will update in the topic